Scott Groves here with another mortgage mystery. What is the difference between a condo and an apartment? Well, this is actually a simple one to solve. A condo generally means that there's individual ownership by individual parties, but under the blanket of a shared building. So for example, if you see a large building that looks like a condo project, but the individual occupants of that condo building individually own the unit that they live in, that is a condo where people can take ownership in the unit. Conversely, an apartment unit or an apartment building is normally owned by a single owner or a developer or a company and people rent or they pay rent on a monthly basis for the right to live in that building. So if you're looking about moving out for the first time and you don't have a down payment or you don't have somebody that can help you with gift funds to facilitate a down payment, you might be looking to rent a property. And renting a property means you would go into a apartment, for example, you would pay a monthly fee to live there. And when the end of your contract comes up, you are required to vacate the property, vacate the apartment, and you have no further claim or rights or ownership to that apartment. However, if you can put together a little bit of money for a down payment or get some type of gift funds or assistant from somebody, you can potentially buy a condo or in a condominium project. And when you buy into a condominium project, that gives you forever ownership to the unit until you decide to sell it. And when I run the numbers for clients who are thinking about maybe renting for $1,500 a month in an apartment or potentially buying for $2,200 in a condo project, that can be a very scary proposition for people. That spread or that delta between what you can rent for and what you can buy for can be really scary, especially for a first time homeowner. However, when you factor in that ownership has so many additional benefits, such as the interest on the loan can be written off against your taxes. So owning a home in most cases brings down your tax liability. You own the house, meaning every dollar that you put into it is a dollar that goes to your savings and your finances versus when you're paying rent, what you're really doing is you're paying for another landlord or you're paying for another individual or company to own that building and you're just renting space there for a temporary amount of time. Also, once you pay your rent on an apartment, that rent is gone. You're never getting that back. There is no financial return. Versus on a condo, as you pay your mortgage, as you pay down the debt and the balance on that condominium, and presumably as property values rise over time, you're building wealth and building equity in that property. It's also a great tool to get into the housing market because generally condominiums, if you're looking to buy one, will be cheaper than similar single family residences in the area. So it's a great entry point into the market where you can build some wealth, have ownership of something that's yours, and in the future, maybe change it into a rental property to generate additional income when you go to buy your forever house. So simple answer, apartment is just something where you're renting space for a short amount of time. Condominium is something where you have ownership rights over it and can build future wealth. If you're looking to get into the housing market, if you're looking to get pre-approved and compare those numbers of what would it cost me to rent versus what would it cost me to own, our team loves working with first time buyers who are trying to figure out that equation. Give us a call, shoot us an email, get on our calendar, all the links are below. Somebody on our team will get with you within 24 hours to work out, should I be a homeowner instead of a renter? Should I be finding a realtor and looking for a condo instead of just renting an apartment? These are important financial questions that you need to be asking yourself in order to help you obtain wealth over your lifetime and we're here to help. So we'd love to get you pre-approved. We'd love to help you with your mortgage. If for some reason you're looking at a condominium in a state where we're not currently licensed, don't worry. We have an amazing pool of realtors and lenders we can refer you to. And we'd love to help you get into your first condominium or your first property. Scott Groves with the Mortgage Mystery Series. If you've got a question about buying a home or getting pre-approved for a mortgage that you haven't seen on our channel, leave a comment and we'll try to upload that video within 24 hours.